All right, so here we are, and we're going to talk about actually writing the inequality now from a graph. Uh, we just talked about going from the inequality and graphing it. Now we're going to go from the graph to the inequality, which means I'm going to need a few things. Um, uh, first and foremost, I see a nice y-intercept here, um, and then I also see a pretty easily identifiable slope. Um, so there is something, if we have slope and a y-intercept, we could use a uh, slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. If there wasn't a nice point, then I'd have to use something like point-slope form. I just have to pick a point that's on the line and then find the slope. Um, but in this case, I have y is, uh, equals mx plus b, which will be great. Let's talk about the slope here first. Uh, the slope uh, is positive. That's a good thing to know. Uh, slope has always been rise over run. Uh, the run here is 1, 2, 3. Uh, the rise is 1, 2. Like so. Uh, and so our, our slope then is going to be rise over run, which is going to be 2 over 3. Let's bring down the x here. Uh, my y-intercept is at 1, 2. So that's going to be at a positive 2 here. I'm going to bring down this y really quick. So we did find the y-intercept. We found the slope. I'm just bringing everything else down. Now, this is not an equation. This is an inequality because, first off, it's dotted and it's shaded, right? So this is not just an equation. An equation would just be a straight line, right? A straight solid line. This has shading, though. And this is shaded below. And remember that we shade below when it's less than. And if this were a solid line, it would get the equal to. Uh, it would say that it's included. But this is not included. Uh, the solutions are not included on the line. And so I'm just going leave to it, leave it as y is less than 2 thirds x plus Two. And it would be really easy to list two solutions here. Uh, just look in the shaded region and name two ordered pairs from that. I could go with the origin at 0, 0. That's in the shaded region. I could also go with 2, comma, negative 2 as a solution there. All right, go ahead and pause the video and try this one out. Okay, uh, looks right here I have a vertical line. Uh, that would be a vux, right, which means x would be the only thing in my inequality. So this going to be x is something to, let's see where are we at here. We're at 3 on the x-axis, so x is something to 3. It's shaded to the right, and greater is to the right. So x is going to be greater, and it's not going to be equal to because it's just a dotted line. If this were a solid line, then it would get the equal to sign. So for this one, x is just greater than 3. To list two solutions for this one, we could choose uh, right here would be great. This would be 4, 0. That's a solution there. And that would be like 4 is greater than 3, which is true. Uh, or we can go way up here to 10, 10. And that would work as well as a solution because it's in the shaded region. All right, go ahead and pause the video and try this one out. All right, so here we have a horizontal line. And hoi is going to be our best bet here. Remember, we have hoi's, which are our uh, horizontal lines, zero slopes, and our vuxes, which were undefined, like on, like on the last example. Hoi means it has just a y in the equation. And it looks like we're down here at negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And it's shaded below the line. And below is going to be where the lesser numbers are. So y is going to be less than. But also, we have a solid line. That means the solutions on the, are on the line as well. They are included. And so we have to put this equal to sign here to show that they are included. So y is less than or equal to a negative 3 would represent this inequality. To list two solutions, just two numbers, uh, two ordered pairs, woo, two ordered pairs within this uh, shaded region. So we could go 10, comma, negative 10 again. That would be fine. That would be this point down here. In fact, we could go negative 10, negative 10 as well. And those both are solutions. You should come up with your own, though. 